Hello makeup lover and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. If not, my name is Meline. I'm a Danish makeup artist living in Barcelona in Spain. And whether you've been here before or not, I'm so happy to see you and hope to see you again someday. But um, for today's look, uh, I pulled out two eyeshadow palettes. I pulled out my Mothership number no. 8 and number no. 9. And also a single shadow called Dark Matter. It's a black shadow. So if you would like to see how I did these two different party or New Year's Eve look, whatever you want to call it, um, please hang in there and I will show you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any good ideas or questions or um, comments, uh, please put it in the comment box below. And uh, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's go ahead and do some makeup, shall we? I'm going to start by showing you the palette. This is my favorite palette from Pat McGrath and this is what I'm going to play with. I'm now going to show you the second palette I'm going to dip into today. And this is a Utopian Dream, also from Pat McGrath. I put on a little bit of the highlighting color on my refer 28 and I'm going to put that under my brows here, just on my brow bone to lighten that up. I dip the refer 28 into some black eyeshadow from Pat McGrath, the one that's called Dark Matter. And I'm just going to place that ever so gently here on top of my crease. It looks a little crazy now, I know, but trust the process. And because I have wrinkles, I cannot just draw a line. I have to be very careful and stamp the color on like this. I'm going to perfect it a little bit, take it a bit down lower here because it looked like a mustache that um, was placed in the wrong position. So I'm just going to do like so. With my reference number one, I'm going to blend the upper edge a little bit because now it's a little too big before I put on the other color I want in here. And then I'm going to blend it towards the inner part of my eye. With my refer number one, I just used to blend out. I dipped into the lightest matte shade from the Utopian Dream, and I'm just putting that on top here. If you hear anything in the background, it's just my cat meal. I dipped the same refer number one into the darkest color of the Divine Rose 2 and I'm putting that on top of the black here and blending it into the other color. Just 
darkening it up a little bit here like so because I want to make this uh, New Year's Eve or party look I am really gonna go all in there when it comes to shimmer so I'm putting on the intensifies to layer a base for the shimmers to be really intense so this is what I'm doing now, just really layering it on here. And now I'm going to distribute it on the mobile lid here, like so. I'm going to put a little bit of the highlighting shade on the middle of the lid here to make a base for it to be extra shiny right here, like a halo type of eye. Using my Smith 256 I am gonna dip on the glitter from the Divine Rose 2 Astral something I don't remember the name right now. It is so stunning because it is like shimmery in all the colors of the rainbow. It's really really pretty. I'm now going to put on a liquid liner I did some tight lining and put on some mascara and um, this is it Normally, I would put some kind of eyeliner under the eye. Uh, for this look, I would love to put, for example, the Sextra Terrestrial, the Multichrome, but my eye uh, is not very um, compliant today, so it keeps watering and uh, I will not be able to keep that liner on for very long. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And that's also an option. You can do it like this and it'll be totally fine. It's still a party look, I would say. Here you have the look with some false lashes on. I'm going to continue to do another look on my other eye. For this eye, I'm going to start with some dark matter again. And I'm going to put it in the outer corner here. To darken that up a little bit. I'm gonna go all the way up to the crease but not over the line where the crease is hopefully. You can feel like the eye socket here so you just go up to the eye socket. Like so. Dipped into the dark matter again with my reference number 28 I'm just putting on a little bit more of the black color in the outer corner and I'm just stamping it on, moving it inwards, building up some depth here and just blending it like so. Same brush, same color, now in the inner corner. Same thing, I'm just stamping it on here and going up to the eye socket and not over the crease. I think you can see where this is going. Using the tip of the brush, I am now going to put the black eyeshadow under my eyes here. Now doing the same in the inner corner. Like so. I dipped my reference number 14 into the darkest color of the Divine Rose 2. It's a burgundy kind of color and I am just placing it here on the border of the black 
and then I am blending it upwards. I'm going to do the same thing under my eyes, under my eyes, sorry, I said eyes, not the other eye, just this eye. I don't want this to be too grungy, so I dipped my refer number 14 into the coral like shade from the utopian dream i am gonna be very gentle with this color uh, so it doesn't look like someone punched me in the face and i'm gonna mimic what i did on top on the bottom here On top of the intensifier. I'm going to put a little bit of the intensifiers under my eye. And of course, I'm going to put that same gold color under my eye as well on top of the intensifiers here. Oh no, I keep bending, sorry. Like so. I'm now dipping into the Utopian Dream and that flaky golden orange color here and putting that between the gold and the black shadow, like so. I dip my ring finger into the highlighting color from the utopian dream because i think that the divine rose too is a little bit too pink for this look with my reference number three i'm gonna put on a highlighting shade here in the inner corner and i'm just gonna use the astral shade from the divine rose to put the gorgeous shimmers I'm going to put a liquid liner on this eye look uh, as well and I'm going to just turn my head so hopefully you can see better. We're going to make this a little bit more thick and dramatic because we have so much gold going on. I'm going to go almost all the way into the inner corner. This is the final look with uh, some black eyeliner on. I did some tight lining and also put some black eyeliner on my lower waterline and put on some mascara. I'm now going to go off cam and put some false lashes on. This is a final look on the second eye with some false lashes on. I'm going to try and see if I can show you both looks here. Uh, at the same time so you can see the difference and uh, what it does when you have a liner under the eye and when you don't. I'm gonna go and uh, zoom you out so you can see the makeup looks with a full face of makeup. This is what it looks like the final two looks and um, here you see what it can do for the face and the eyes when you put a liner under the eyes and when you don't. And uh, on my cheeks, I had put on some electric bloom. On top of that, I mixed the pinky shade with the goldy shade from uh, the highlighting trio from Pat McGrath. I'm now gonna put on my glasses so you can see what it looks like with some glasses on. So this is it. I hope you liked it and uh, maybe feel inspired. 
Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. And if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Now, all that is left for me is to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you again and have an awesome day. Bye. Mwah. Thank you.